shine like a diamond. I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. Um, I have two things we're gonna look at and then we're gonna actually go into a craft that I actually got these things for. Um, I'm super excited to see if this is gonna work. Honestly, I have no idea because I've never done this before. Um, I just had this kind of like random idea and I thought, eh, let's try it and see. So, um, First off, let's go ahead and open these. These are keychains that I got off of Amazon. This is a set of 20, um, and I believe there are eight in here. So yeah, so let's go ahead and let's take a peek at what we've got first of all. Honestly, I can't remember the price right now. I'll try to put it in the screen below just so that um, you guys know the price. And I will also link them in the description below. Um, okay, so we've got the keychains here. And they're the same thing in both packages, so there's really not a point in like, I mean, I guess I can open them. I don't know, there's, I'm gonna open them anyway, so why not? And that thud in the background is my cat trying to get into food wherever he possibly can because he's a nut. Okay, <clears throat> so we've got 20 of these lovely red ones. And there is, I'm going to pause you because I got to go deal with my cat. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys, my cat sometimes. He is just literally sitting on my counter smacking stuff off. <laughs> He's crazy. I swear to God, he's crazy. Okay, so we have 20 of these red ones. Um, there's an angel. There's a tree. There's a snowflake. Um, there's a ornament. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. Um, we've got like a gingerbread man, a star, um, another snow. Oh. This is a different snowflake, but it's kind of, I mean, it's similar to this one, but it is a little bit different. Christmas tree, uh, gingerbread house, a heart. So I believe there's going to be two of everything. Oh, and then a bell. Okay, so. I believe now, okay, so we have two of each of these. So there's a bell, a heart, a gingerbread house, a star, a gingerbread boy, um, two different snowflakes, an angel, an ornament, and a tree. So that, those are going to be the actual, like, um, ornaments, keychains, whatever you want to call them. Then, okay, so for the keychains, you get these really long things, I guess. Maybe you cut them up because there's only two of them. <laughs> so my guess is um, that they want you to cut them yourself rather than coming in 10 pieces. Um, yeah, so that yeah, is a little odd. Usually they're cut up for you, but you know, whatever. Um, we got your basic kit. It has some bags in it, a green boat, a um, pen, and a little pink wax which we will not use any of that because I don't need it. Um, and then over here we have the exact same thing, the same kit and the long two strings that they want us to cut ourselves, you know, because I'm just so lazy. Okay, here's our drills for them. We have these beautiful white um, ABs, which are like the 141s, um, and so we've got two of those here, then we have a red, two reds actually, and they are the same, so two reds, and then these really pretty tear-shaped, um, like diamond holographic kind of ones, so we've got that, and we got that, so those are going to be um, the drills for your ornaments. Now, if you are like me, you have a buttload of extra drills. Um, if you wanted to add some like different colors on these, you absolutely could, which would be great because right now you're only going to have two colors. They're going to be white and red and then these little specialty ones. So, 
I think adding some um, would be kind of fun, and I think I'll probably do that just because we do have so many extra colors. Um, that will make them a little bit more unique and you know, so that is those hats. So there's 20. So I'm going to put those aside for a minute. And we will go through the other set I got. So the other set I got, um, I believe there's eight in the pack. And um, they're a little bit more colorful. Um, I was trying to do this like as inexpensive as I could. And if I remember right, these were like 10 to 12 dollars for the set of 20 of them. So then we've got um, this set. Okay. All right. So we will put that aside. Okay, so it came with this little, um, like, thumbnail kind of a thing. If my camera focuses well enough on that, we'll see. I don't know if it's going to, but you can you can see what they are. And we're going to open it up anyway, so whatever. All right, so we've got a kit here. Um, basically the exact same thing as the other one, but a few more baggies. Nothing special. Okay, this one, rather than the strings, it actually came with um, keychain pieces. So, like, it came with your, you know, little chain and hook for an actual keychain. So, uh, these ones, I can't, honestly, guys, I'm so sorry. I ordered these quite a while ago, and so I just, I can't remember the cost of them, but... If I'm correct, I believe these, again, were about um, 10 to $12-ish. So we have a, um, a Santa. A cute penguin. I like the colors, actually, in the background. It's really pretty. Then we've got a glove, which this one has some specialty drills. Those are going to be fun. And um, we've got a reindeer. A bell, a snowman. I love it. He doesn't have like a carrot stick nose sticking out there. A Christmas tree, and a candy cane. I don't know why, but I love candy cane de decorations. Like, I'm not a huge candy cane eater, but I love decorating with like the candy cane um, stripe theme. So, okay, so. We'll put those aside for now, and we're going to look at the drills that they came with. And then we're going to get into the craft. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right. So we've got two strings here. Um, we've got like the regular drills, but there's crystal ones except for, they're all the crystal ones except for the um, three tens. So we've got three tens here. We've got a really pretty green and yellow, um, almost like a copper orange color, a deep, deep red, white, white, silver, silver. Then over here we have gold, which I love these gold ones. They are so pretty. Then we've got bigger red ones. We've got the stars and hearts, pink hearts. So those are the drills. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit, organize it because I'm gonna need my whole desk to do this next um, part of the project. So I'm going to pause you and I magically come back with my stuff. Okay, ta-da! Ah, uh, magic. Okay, guys, so, um, this, I'm hoping this will work to some degree. Um, it's not, like, in my head what I had seen. It's not going to work exactly how I had hoped, but I think it's still going to be fun. It's still going to be a cute little decoration. It's still going to be fun to do. Um, and so what I have here are just, like, those felt sheets kind of things. Um, the black one I'm going to use for my background, kind of like my base. So I'm going to put my camera up just a tad so you guys can see like the whole thing. So, okay. So this one's going to be the background 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three lines of pockets for those keychains to sit in. And then I'm going to have numbers on each one for every day of like the month up until Christmas time. So you can take one out every day and do it um, as like kind of an advent calendar kind of thing, um, more of a countdown to Christmas, but I just thought it would be kind of fun to do. So this is going to be our first little section that we're going to do. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, measure these out, glue them on to the black piece of felt, and then they're going to make just like a little pocket for those keychains um, that I just showed you to sit in. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so now I have my three pieces um, cut out. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them down here just like this. And I'm going to glue it there, but you want to make sure you don't glue the entire thing because the whole point is to make a pocket so that you can put um, the keychains in. So as a demonstration, um, you want it to be able to slide in there. So you only want to glue on the very edge of it. And then you're going to go ahead and take the next strip here and put it just like so. And then just like so. That way um, you have three pockets to for all of your pieces to go into so let's go ahead and glue these down okay, so now I have <clears throat> my three pieces um, cut out so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them down here just like this and I'm going to glue it there but you want to make sure you don't glue the entire thing because the whole point is to make a pocket so that you can put um, the keychains in so as a demonstration um, you want it to be able to slide in there so you only want to glue on the very edge of it and then you're going to go ahead and take the next strip here and put it just like so, and then just like so. That way um, you have three pockets to for all of your pieces to go into. So let's go ahead and glue these down. Okay, so I got a little ahead of myself and forgot to hit um, the camera when I glue these. So I already put the glue down and like I said, I just put it on the outside right here. I'm going to go ahead and use um, these nice fabric clips that I got just to kind of hold it in place. So that way when I am um, working on gluing the other pieces down, I don't accidentally, you know, move this around. Um... And you just want to get that, like I said, that thin layer uh, all the way around the edging because you want to make sure you have enough room to put your um, your keychains inside of these pockets that these little strips are making. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting these glued down. So the next step is um, now you can do this all sorts of different ways. You could even um, get a marker if you wanted to and write the numbers on there. Um, you could get like a stencil, all sorts of different ways. Um, but what I did was I bought these wooden, um, these wooden numbers. And I think that that is gonna be like, for me, anyway, is the easiest and look the nicest. So I am just, I'm grabbing those. Hold on. Um, they're mixed in with the letters here. So I have all of these wooden numbers that I want to put from 1 to 24. So um, I want to have eight letters, or I mean, sorry, eight numbers on each slat so that it's even. 
And so let's go ahead and if you want to get some of these, any kind of numbers works. So basically, however you want to do it, do it. Um, you can get an extra piece of fabric and cut some numbers out, whatever. Just do, do. letters have dried and these the strips have dried so now we're just going to take off um, these clips and once we get these clips off we will be able to then put the keychains in the um, the pockets that we've made and then we will move on to the next step of the project. So let's go ahead and get the clip on. Sorry for background noise. I do have a heater going, uh, a little space heater, because it's really cold tonight. And um, I didn't want to turn the big heater on just because I don't really need it on, but I just wanted to have a little bit of warmth. Anyway, so what I bought is I just bought this like cheap, um, thick kind of post poster board, but it's like the foam kind of one. But this is like the cheaper one. It was only two ninety nine, so it's super inexpensive. Um, I can't show the entire thing here because um, my camera won't go that high. So I'm just going to explain to you this part because it's kind of boring anyways. You don't really need to watch me do it. So I have this um, green felt material that I bought and I have this cork, cork whatever, not cork, um, foam poster board. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this material. Um, I'm going to cut it to where there's a little bit of a, um, an edge around it and then I'm just going to flip it underneath and glue it down so that there is a piece this whole green felt is covering the entire poster board so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will come right back when I'm done okay so as you can kind of see um, so what I did with the, the um, material rather than gluing this green felt let me show you here Rather than gluing this green felt down, I actually just pulled it around and let me pick these up. These are gonna be glued down here in just a minute. That will be our next step. But um, rather than having to glue it and wait for the glue to dry, I just pulled up the felt around the lip and I used um, a staple gun and I just stapled the felt right to it. So it's it's on there nice and snug, nice and secure. I didn't have to waste time with glue, waiting for it to dry and all of that stuff. I just stapled it on and we are good to go. So now our next step is going to be, so I know you can only see half of it. So it's, it's there though, I promise. So there's that part and then um, here's the next part. And this part is what we're gonna do is we're going to be gluing this piece down um, just like this. And then we're gonna take those letters, the December letters, they're white, and we're gonna put December right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue um, all of this down and then we'll go to the next step. All right, guys, so what I have done is um, I have a tiny piece of Velcro on the back of these, and then I also put some Velcro um, up here. So basically what you're going to do is you'll pull one out of the day, whatever day it is. So I'm super behind because of everything that went on. Um, with Maya last week and everything, but 
So let's say we were up to date, but you would pull out the tenth, which would be the Christmas tree. You would dumb and paint your little tree, and then you would stick it up on the board so you'll have all your little ornaments kind of on a tree. Um, I wanted to actually have it in the shape of a tree, but it just wasn't working, and um, with already being like super behind on this project, I didn't want to get even more behind, so I decided um, to just do it this way and I think it's actually gonna turn out super cute anyways one more thing that we need to add on to this though are our wooden letters that say December so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and then this project is done okay so we got um, our December uh, all glued on and now all we really need to do is wait for the glue to dry while that's drying um i'm going to figure out a place i'm going to hang this and i will show you when it's up on my wall i'm super excited um i have been wanting to do this project for a while now and things just kept getting in the way and i really wanted to have it up by the first but with everything that we were going through with maya it just didn't happen but i'm so glad to still get it up I mean, better late than never. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more crafts this month um, and continuing on after the, after the holidays, um, give me a thumbs up and that's how I know you are liking these videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. As always, don't forget, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, with that, keep on shining, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.